Tonight, that major economic news for Prince George's County. Greenbelt, the future home of the FBI headquarters. Fox 5, Sierra Fox, live tonight at that location. It'll be home to that eventual new site. Sierra, this has been a very long process. Marina, it truly has. The competition for the FBI headquarters dates back more than a decade. We know officials in both D.C. and Virginia lobbied hard for this project, but ultimately, Maryland won the bid. Since 1975, the FBI headquarters has been located here at J. Edgar Hoover Building on Pennsylvania Avenue in Northwest D.C. However, it's crumbling and not spacious enough for the agency's 11,000 staff. But soon, the new home for the FBI will be in Prince George's County. The complex is expected to be built on an empty 61-acre plot outside the Greenbelt Metro Station. County Executive Angela Also Brooks, who is running for Senate, is ecstatic about what this will bring to the community. And this FBI headquarters with its uh, at least 7,500 new jobs um, is an absolute game changer for Prince George's County. It will change its economy uh, for generations to come. According to the U.S. General Services Administration, GSA determined Greenbelt to be the best site because it was the lowest cost to taxpayers, provided the greatest transportation access to FBI employees and visitors, and gave the government the most certainty on project delivery schedule. It also provided the highest potential to advance sustainability and equity. Maryland lawmakers from the local, state, and federal level are releasing a joint statement. This is a historic moment for the FBI and our nation. The dilapidated J. Edgar Hoover building has failed to meet the FBI's operational needs, which has undermined our national security. Well, this has been a long time coming. This is going to be one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, federal construction project in history. Uh, and having the headquarters of the FBI in Maryland uh, will attract a lot of other businesses and others that want to be in close proximity uh, to the FBI. So it's a great day for Maryland, a great day for the men and women of the FBI. However, Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine aren't happy that the final choice went in a different direction, saying, quote, it's especially disappointing that the FBI's initial criteria for this decision, developed independently by the GSA and affirmed by Congress just last year, were changed at the 11th hour by the administration following political pressure. Now, the new FBI campus will be funded by Congress and take years to build. At this time, a developer hasn't been selected. But, of course, Fox 5 will keep you up to date with the very latest. Marina, back in.